In most cases, locations in inflow should represent buildings, and sublocations should represent the shelves, aisles, or bins within those locations. If your current locations do not represent buildings, we recommend converting them into sublocations so that you can take full advantage of the reorder features in Inflow Cloud. And we're going to show you how to do that in four steps. This video is going to demo our web app, but this is also totally possible to do within the Windows app. Now it's time for step one. We're going to start with two quick exports in the web app. Head to Menu, Export Data, and choose Reorder Settings. We're going to be using this file in step four later. Then head back to the menu, Export Data, and choose Stock Levels. Then open up this file in your spreadsheet program. Check the file for any locations in the Locations column that you'd like to keep the same. So if you find a location that you want to keep intact, just delete those rows from the spreadsheet. In this example, we want to turn all of these locations into sublocations, so we're not going to make any changes to this file. But if you did make changes, make sure to save them. Then go back to the web app. Go to Menu, Import Data, Stock Levels, and point it at the Inflow Stock Levels CSV file that you just opened. Then click Next and subtract it from existing inventory. Once that import is complete, you'll see that all of your locations have zero quantity. But don't worry, you'll be getting your inventory levels back in the next two steps. Reopen the Stock Levels CSV from Step 1. Rename the Location column to Sublocation, and add a new column called Location. In this new column, enter the names of the main buildings that these locations will represent, like Warehouse A, Warehouse B, etc. For this example, let's say that the numerical aisles belong to Warehouse A, and the alphabetical aisles belong to Warehouse B. Once you've made the changes, save the CSV file. Now let's go back to the web app and make sure we have sublocations set up. We'll go to Menu, Options, Company Settings, Manage Locations, and look for the checkbox that says Break Locations Down Into Sublocations. Make sure that checkbox is ticked. Now while you're in here, make sure to deactivate the extra locations that will be turning into sublocations. So in this example, all of these locations named Aisle are going to be turned into sublocations so we'll deactivate them because we won't be using them anymore. Okay, let's save the changes and now it's time for step three. This step is pretty simple. In the web app, go to the menu, import data, stock levels, and point it at the CSV file from step two. Here's the important part. Set inventory levels to what is being imported and make sure that all of the fields are pre-filled like in this video. Then click Import to start the process. Depending on the amount of inventory you have, this might take a while, but Inflow will also email you when the import is complete. By the way, if you have multiple locations at your business, but you primarily work out of one particular location, we recommend setting a personal default location. You can do this in Personal, Personal Defaults. This location will be the default for this particular Inflow account. I'll set this at Warehouse A, so anytime I create a new order in Inflow or try to reorder stock, Inflow will focus my options on Warehouse A. Now it's time for Step 4. Let's go back to the Reorder Settings CSV file that we downloaded in Step 1. Copy the exact location and sublocation combinations from your stock levels import. So for this example, Warehouse A is going to have aisles 1 through 4, and Warehouse B will have aisles A and B. The reorder points and reorder quantities are exactly as they were before, but feel free to update them right now if you'd like. When you're done, save the CSV file. Then go back to the web app and head to Menu, Import Data, Reorder Settings, and then point it at the Inflow Reorder Settings CSV file that you just had open. Then complete the import. Once it finishes, you'll have the stock quantities and reorder points from before, and you can now reorder products on a location-by-location -location basis.